Hi guys, today I'm coming to you because I wanted to do my eye makeup on camera so I can show you my very first Pat McGrath palette. This is what you call luxury makeup. Um, I This is my very first because it's just out of my budget. It's been out of my price range. I ha haven't wanted to pay um, the price for her palettes, but thankfully she came out with this. I think it's 18 pans. Uh, I get all these colors for $78, but I got it on a discount because I got this with the Sephora VIB 15% off because I'm not VIB Rouge. I didn't get 20% off, but I was very excited to get this palette. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do the purples. I've never wanted to pay what the 10 pans. I think it's 10 pans. It's like $125. That's a lot of money. Um, her four pans are like $58. Yeah, so I'm excited. And the only bad thing is that I have swatched it. And I don't know, you can probably tell right there. I I had to swatch it as soon as it got to me. I had to swatch it. And uh, I just, uh, I'm loving the swatches. What I saw by what I swatched was very nice. I haven't used it on my eyes though, so we'll see. But the only bad thing I was thinking is that if I fall in love with her, um, you know, with her formula and everything, I'm going to swatch basically a couple for you guys that um, I'm thinking I'm going to do something more purple because I was looking at all the colors look beautiful, but I was looking at the purples like, and that's what I think I want to do. This is this pinky one. Oh, that, that looks really pretty. So let's see. This one right here is this one. And then this one right here. Darker purple right here. And then I, I swatched this one on the pinky. So let's see how they look on my arm. We're going to do it on this side. Yeah. You'll get to see what it looks more on a tanner skin. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh. It's like, I don't even know what colors, how beautiful, what colors to use because oh, they just all look beautiful. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to go for these. Maybe I can use all of them. So maybe these three on the top lid somehow. And then these two, we'll put it at the bottom. Um, lower lash line. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. And I think I know what I'm going to start with. But let's do this. This palette, for the most part, <clears throat> is going to be one of those palettes that uh, you will have to bring in another palette with. Like for me right now, it doesn't have a brow brow bone color so i'm just going to bring my favorite that i've been showing you guys uh the color inhale from in here and use that as my brow bone color so let's uh start so we don't take too long uh, we're going to take a flat uh shader brush this is crown brushes c510 and i'm going to try to use the it's going to be hard to do it off of here so I'm gonna use my mirror, my little Mac mirror, and I hope that I don't cover what I'm doing, okay? You guys tell me if I do. No, <laughs> like you guys really can. Anyways, this is how we're gonna try to do it, and I'll try to see, make sure I show you guys. I need to get my eyebrows done. All right, is that enough? Is that enough? All right. And I always blend, blend. That's what I do. Let's see what color we're going to go in with. We're going to go in the lightest one I see. And like I said, this is going to be more of an accent palette or a palette that I, I love the colors to stand out more on my lid. But it only has, I think, three mattes. And that's, and I'll probably try to use all three. This one, this one, and this burgundy one. We'll use them all. We'll, we'll start with the lightest one as a more transition color, almost all over, but not quite. So I just dipped it into that lighter pink one. 
I hope I don't get like fallout and since I have my it's nice I didn't get a lot of fallout honestly it's not a lot of kickback what we mean by that is you see it's not showing up dusty oh yeah it's not picking up it's nice nice formula So just make sure you blend it into your as your transition. I think it's looking nice. I hope it comes out nice, the look that I'm thinking of. Okay, so let's go into the next color. We can always come back. I'm gonna take a smaller shading brush, the Morphe M456. See how this one's smaller? So I'm going to take that one into the darker, this one right here. I'm going to start off in the outer corner. You guys are going to hear the kids. That's Alex. I'm not sure why he's going outside. Because like I said, they're done with school. I let them know I was going to try to film a video. But I'm almost pretty positive one of them will come in here. That's our garage door. He's probably throwing something out. I have just a little bit of fallout. Tiny, tiny bit. I start off by putting it in the outer corner first so that it's the darkest there and then I work I work it in just so it's not as dark. Hmm. What do you guys think so far? It's not I need to make a match here. Honestly, I'm not really here for the mattes as much as I'm truly here for the shimmery colors, for the other colors. Okay, with this color, for some reason, I'm not that impressed. I have a little patchiness right here. Is it just me? Do you guys see that right here? How like it's darker here, but not... That's weird. I don't know that I've seen any. I know I've seen some tutorials already. But I can't remember what colors they used, if they used this one. I was just looking at all the other colors that's in here. I'm not liking how that color is coming out. The color is pretty, but just on this side. Maybe it's me, right? Maybe it's the user and not the product. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna try to blend it out myself and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I tried to blend it out as much as I could on the outside, I think it's better. Now I'm gonna go in with the same brush, the smaller one. I'm gonna go into this dark, dark more like brownish burgundy color. And we're gonna put that just in the outer corners. That's the only area I wanna put that in. Hopefully it works out. I think that color worked out better. I don't know why I think the other one was applying a little patchy. I'm gonna have to look at some more reviews, but either way, there's no way this palette's going back. I already swatched the other ones. Unless those other colors won't go on my eyelid at all, then that's the only reason I would take this palette back to return it. So I'm just blending again to mesh everything together, all the three colors I put down. Um, and trying to make this darker. 
I, I look into the mirror and I look into the phone and I don't see or the camera here on the phone and it looks different. Like I feel like I could tell the different colors more here on this small mirror than what I could see on the camera. So hopefully it's looking good to you guys. I'm going to go into this other color here. Let's see. I'm going to use this brush from MAC. These brushes are so old, I don't know the numbers. I think it's 212. And we're going to go into this color right here. This one. I'm going to use this one and this one both on the lid. So I'm going to go into this one first. And I'm going to try to put this one just in the center, okay? So we're going to dip it in. Uh, I think the finger is going to be better for this because it's not picking up anything. So let me show you. It's hard to know how to do this. Okay. So, see, let's put some on. Nope, I'm getting fallout by doing that. Yeah, no, I didn't pick anything up on the brush. And I'm not trying to spray this and then dip it in. If I dip my finger, you see, now I have a lot on here and I can just put it like this. I do ha have some fallout on my face from doing this. I feel like I'm going to spray my finger so it could stick better. All I'm doing is just patting it down with my finger. Are you guys able to see the fallout? Probably not. But it's a little bit. I mean, it is like a shimmery, glittery color. Oh, I should have used the glitter glue. But like I said, it's my first time using this, so it's kind of difficult to know. We'll definitely think unless there's a different brush I can try a little bit more dense I'll have to try this again but okay so now let's go into the other color I said I wanted to use I don't like how it's looking on the lid. Very chunky. Let me try to use the brush, just wet the brush by itself with nothing on it to see if the color will lay on it better. Definitely if this palette was $125 or even more than what I paid, I would, by using these colors, I would return it, but I have to use the rest of it. This is just my first time. Color's looking nice, but I'm trying to brush. Oh no! I say that because as I'm trying to brush off, since it's glittery, it looks really glittery right here. I wish I had a better camera so I could truly show you guys. Okay, we're gonna go with my favorite Urban Decay Perversion eyeliner and put that in my waterline. And we're going to use the other two purples I wanted to use. We're going to use this purple. This one just going from here to the about the middle. Or I'm going to use it all over. And then the, the darker purple, which is this one, should be able to cover some of that on the end. Uh, the brush I'm going to use is a Sigma E21. Like that. Mm. You might spray it a little bit so it
I would definitely do foundation last when using this palette next time. Just so when the fallout, um, it'll be better just to do it because I can clean my face with the wipe and then do my foundation. I like how that looks. That purple looks pretty. I'm dipping it now into the darker purple. <clears throat> I hope it works with the brush. It's looking like it's not trying to pick it up with the brush, but I'm gonna spray it, dip it back in and see. What I notice is that the glittery colors, these are the colors, the darker purple has a little bit more um, shimmer, glitter, whatever it is, not like actual big um, glitter, but it has a lot of shimmer and small, small particles of glitter. Those are harder to pick up with the brush. At least for me. And like I said, I'm very new to using, this is my first ever Pat McGrath, so I'm not sure how to work her palette out. I'm going to use one of this goldish looking colors, this one right here, with one of these pencil brushes to put it in my inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and finish off my makeup by doing my eyeliner and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and I finished my eyeliner, lashes. I put on some lipstick with lip gloss. Let me show you what lashes I'm using, which are my favorite, the current favorite. These Extension Seekers Decurl 663s from Salon Perfect. And then on my lips, I have this Milani, Milani lip liner all over, understatement lip liner, that's the color. And then I have Snob Lipstick from MAC. This was an old favorite here that everybody seems to not be using anymore. That's what I have on along with Fussy, the Fenty lip gloss and so let's talk about the palette a bit like i said i'm not um i don't know a lot about pat mcgrath as far as i've never used her eyeshadows i mean i know that she's basically luxury makeup um and for the price though that i paid for this as a first impression, I'm not that happy. You guys saw how excited I was to like try it out. I had already swatched all the colors and I love the way they swatch on my arms. But once I was putting these two colors, and maybe that's me too, because like I said, I'm not that good. This is my first time using her products, using her first product ever, her eyeshadows. And I know she has like, you know, I don't know, her foundation is like super expensive and other products that she has but this is the first thing i have and when i i put that one and that one on my lid uh it wasn't applying correctly i mean i tried when i tried it with the brush you guys saw it didn't go on the brush at all so maybe i need to read up on how to apply these i need to see if she has any videos um on how to apply them i've seen other girls use the products but i don't think they use the same colors the ones i watched um that i used uh and i need to Give it another chance anyways. I still love the way it looks. I mean, you guys tell me, what do you think? Do you like the way that the eyeshadow came out? Um, I like it. I think it looks pretty. It's just for knowing how much this is and knowing that it's luxury, I was, I guess, expecting way easier for it to go on my lid. And I guess I was expecting to be able to use my brush, but maybe I need to use a different brush as well. I'm going to keep trying it out. I need to try out all the other colors. I mean, look at this. 
this gold color. I mean, when I, when I say that I swatch it and look at how vibrant like it looks, it's just beautiful. So I'm excited to use this color. And I feel like that color, because it has less shimmer, um, or it's shimmery, but it has like less glitter particles, it's gonna probably be better. And then let me show you this burgundy, burgundy color. I'm excited to use that one too, because I'm really into these colors. Look at how beautiful these colors look. Now let me show you the color, this other, wow. This one has like a shift to it. And I know that the camera won't show it, but let's see if once you swatch it, you see how the color kind of shifts? It looks beautiful. And I can't, I don't even know how to describe that color. It looks like greenish, brownish, I mean, goldish, I don't know. That's a really beautiful color, so I would be really happy to use that one too and put it on my lid and you know see how that'll work out among the other ones now this purple right here that i put at the bottom that one applied really nicely um i think that one's gonna work out really well i think it's the more shimmery see this one this is the one i applied um on top and then we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one too it, this one's very soft it's yeah, maybe it's just a type of shadow. Let's swatch these. So like that's the purplish, it's more like a fuchsia, fuchsia color. And then here's the one I applied on my lid. And see how nicely they swatch? But once I was applying these two on my lid, I felt like it wasn't really sticking onto my lid. Um, I can still see through, like, the, basically, just see my lid itself. And so, anyways, so there it is. I'm still excited to keep playing with the shadows because I have other shadows I need to play with on this palette. And let's see. Yeah, and like I said, this one, especially, I think when I use the golds, uh, when I use, like, the gold and even that color, I don't think I'll be using the mattes that are in this color. I'm going to use one of my other matte palettes and see what looks I can come out with but I'm definitely gonna play with it more and I think we're in November so in December when I do my favorites I will talk about the palette and I'll, I will see how it all you know all the other looks worked out I don't think I'll be able to film you know a lot of looks because there's another palette that I bought there's just two palettes I bought during the Sephora VIB sale and I'm excited to, for the next one. The other one I already used at least once. And I don't have any of her shadows either. Like I was just trying to buy a couple of luxury uh, makeup or eyeshadow palettes that I've never gotten into before. And that one was buttery soft, I've got to say. But I've got to create another look. And that one I do want to bring uh, to the YouTube channel and film it. So if you watch this video, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.